See that? See that? Oh, look. What is it with putting this stuff in the Fiesta boxes that is so not Fiesta? I don't understand this. They're not Fiesta, right? 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 Uh, no, they're not. They're not Fiesta. Somebody is just using the Fiesta. No, they're not. They're not. <laughs> they're just trying to really mess with me. to get in here and shop because they close. I cannot wait. They are extending their hours starting next, starting Sunday. Oh, it's Friday night as I'm coming here. And the reason I am back at this Goodwill is there are a couple of things that I saw when I was here. I was here on Monday. Yes, Monday. Uh, that when I researched, I was like, oh, I should have grabbed that. So you never know. They could still be here and I will grab them this time. So uh, there's one item in particular that I really want to find. And uh, it's a large piece and it's a piece of art. I'll give you that hint. We'll see if we can go in and find it. Uh, with that, I can't sit here and talk anymore. It's time to get in there. Let's go get shop done. All right. I can't go in there without rescuing at least one of these carts that got left out here. I mean, come on people, you complain when they put the poles on and they don't let us use the carts anymore, but this is why. Look, there's a whole bunch over there too. Please, please, please return your cart. This could be somebody's lucky cart. Let's hope tonight, oh look, there's another one. Let's hope tonight it's my lucky cart. Let's go get inside. I'm gonna start in the woods. I've kind of like scoped out the bottoms of the shelves where it was last time and I'm not seeing it. So I think somebody probably picked it up unless they moved it. Oh, this is somebody's doing a little of that um, pyrography, Pyro like you kind of burn the element into there. I wish they had finished the whole thing, but they did not. Okay, this is a jewelry holder. How is that a jewelry holder? Oh, I guess just the little hooks at the bottom. Could be a key holder too. It's kind of nice. Kind of like it. $5.99. It was $29.99. You know what? I, I really, I like the look of that. It's in good shape. It's still got its original tag. We're going to grab that. What are you? Strange little uh, piece of art. Something tells me this would have been framed in something else. It says Jerusalem on there. It's kind of neat. It's $4.99. I don't know why I feel compelled to buy this, but I'm going to put that in the cart too. All right, let's see what else we got here that's new since I was here last. I mean, they restock every single day, so... There are going to be new things here, no matter what. Like a duck shelf. That says, to Grandma, Grandpa, and Lenny from Brian. All right, let's do it. Give me a G. Give me an I. What does it spell? Gig. Alan and Roth, what are you? You are holdbacks. Oh, like curtain holdbacks. Okay, all right, I see it, I see it. I see a buffalo or a bison, bison. Why did I say bison? It's bison, if you will. It's from Yellowstone. Looks like this would have had hooks. Something missing, it's broken. Oh look, my middle-aged sign is still here. Yay. That's a cute little well-worn stool slash seat. I kind of like that. It's a little wobbly, it needs a little work. Oh look, it came from Savers, <laughs> $4.99. See, this is how good my Goodwill is. They're gonna price it cheaper. Oops, there we go. 
but we're gonna leave that. All right, this is one of those things that always gets to me because this was somebody's baby shoes. I didn't even look what the color is. I did not even look. So you, uh, you have the little baby shoes put in the mirror. $7.99 though. Mm, I think I'm gonna leave it. Gonna leave it this time. Pretty baskets. Pretty shelf. Let's see what else we got in the metal. I am not seeing anything too exciting. I did notice they have the music going again. I wonder if the system was just broken those last couple times I was in here. Darn it, because I really like shopping with no music. Now, I have to be a little bit more aware and make sure that uh, I'm talking over the music. This is an interesting set of wall hangings. They're apples and they're three different size apples. It's $5.99 for the set of three. You can see the other two in there. One of them still has its original tag. I think I have to have the apples. I see this really pretty teapot back here that I have to look up and see if I can find a maker's mark on it anywhere. I cannot, and it's really, really lightweight, so I don't think it's anything too special, but I had to look. Ooh, had to look. All right, now they're trying to get bougie with the uh, science project oiled up, whatever you call those things. <laughs> Nothing, nothing, nothing on these shelves so far. Oh, I like this. Not enough to buy it, but I like it. Some figurines. Some of the stuff looks familiar from the last time I was here, but this is new. Let's see if she is signed anywhere. She's $5.99. She reminds me of a certain artist that, of course, I can't remember the name, but she's known for doing the uh, the uh, art with the sculptures with the um, Easter lilies. She's really nice. I, I do like her. So I am gonna pick her up for $5.99. Even though she might just be a hobbyist piece, she's really well done. I just pulled these off the top shelf. They were actually sitting like vases like this, but they're not. They are drums and they are pottery. So I'm pretty intrigued. At $5.99, I'm gonna grab those. And then I'm gonna take a peek at this piece here. It doesn't have a name on it. It's kind of a contemporary, cool little family there. All right, oh, got one of the little um, mouse cheese servers. He's only $2.99. Oh look, and then he's got a friend too. Oh, he's got a really big chip though. Darn it. Darn it, darn it. Let's see. You don't have a chip. Oh, but you do. Boy, the ears take a beating on these guys. Okay, okay. Somebody else is going to need to save you. Not me today, but let's see about the kitty here. Oh, look how cute. This is a hobbyist piece made by Marcella, $6.99. But I tell you what, I've sold several really well done cat pieces for, you know, in the $30 range. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick that up. I see a Pomeranian back here. I used to have Pomeranians many, many years ago. Is he really only 99 cents? <gasps> well, you know I have to rescue him if he's only 99 cents. He's coming with me. See, it's pressed glass. That's what's this here. At my age, I've seen it all, I've heard it all, I've done it all, I just don't remember it all. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Magic show, oh, yesterday's child. And a wizard, actually there's a couple of wizards. They're just that cheap resin though. But then, then look what I spot now. 
just for the strawberries. I will pick this up because I love me some beaded strawberries. But there's a potato. Actually, there's a couple of potatoes and a couple of peppers. They're really heavy too. They're like the pottery ones. They're not they're not plastic and it's 3.99 for the whole bag full. So that's coming with me. Oh, look at this little guy sitting here. He is a pure light, pear light, stone crap. Oh, that's glaring really bad. There we go. Now you can see it. He is 3.99, but I just love his simple design. And he's a seal, so we'll grab him. These are still here. They are um, hermitage pottery. They're chamber lamps. I did uh, research these a little bit and they just don't sell for a whole lot. Look, they got a design on this side. We'll put them that way, but they don't sell for a whole lot. So that is why I left them then. And that is why I'm leaving them again. Let's seeing what else is on this shelf here. Who are you? $1.99 for a piece of Mexican pottery? candle holder in really really good condition it's not really super high quality it's not Talavera you can see there's some issues with the paint but for $1.99 that's definitely a good flip okay let's see somebody turned this maybe somebody peeled the whole price sticker off of that little house oh, I'm just gonna leave it it's kind of a little bit of a mess wow look at that big clump of wax for crafting your own candles what do we got going on here? We have a large puffed creepy clown. No thank you. And let's see if there's anything new over in the little holiday section here. I don't see anything. Little hobbyist girls, except that. What is that? You go over here. What is that? It's a... <gasps> I don't even know, but he's so cute. Valentine's Day is coming up here, but it's too late for me to sell anything for Valentine's. It's just a plush in a mug. It was $5. I just kind of love that plushie in there. $2.99. Okay, I'm going to leave that so somebody can get that for somebody for Valentine's Day. Okay, it's not looking like the big winged art that I passed by last time is still here. Uh, when I did a little research, I found out it was the wing of Icarus or Icarus, I don't know, some Greek god, and uh, it was a couple listings for $250 on it, so I was going to come back and get it, but it appears, unless it got moved over by the art, uh, that it is gone. Okay, why does that have no bottom? I don't understand it. I don't understand that one at all. Not a whole lot here in the clear glass. It's pretty color, but it's just cheap glass. Mm, yeah, nothing here. Nothing here at all tonight. All right, we're gonna take a run down the plastics. I know sometimes these Disney things can be good, but that one's got a lot of wear on it. So we will pass sand casting kit. Hmm. Now oh, we got a, is that supposed to be like a Ninja Turtles? Yeah, it is. It's a Ninja Turtles tin with a puzzle in it. And I don't see anything else exciting in the plastics tonight. So we're going to move on. Alrighty, now we are in the plates and bowls and dishes. Um, this caught my eye just because of the birds, of course, but it's just a, it's a plastic piece. Ooh, wow, look at those. Who are those by? Those are Epoch? Epoch? Pop is the pattern. And I'm guessing that these also are that same. Yeah, they sure are. Can you see the blinking dots? Can you see the blinking dots? I don't see any blinking dots. Do you see blinking dots? I don't know what they're trying to do. Except make me stare at their plate for longer than I should. What are... What are you? Santa's cookies. A 
It's got cookie factory little cookies on the side. 1998. Put you back. Well, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Let, oh, look. What is it with putting this stuff in the Fiesta boxes that is so not Fiesta? I don't understand this. They're not Fiesta, right? 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 Uh, no, they're not. They're not Fiesta. Somebody is just using the Fiesta. No, they're not. They're not. <laughs> they're just trying to really mess with me. All right. My brain is too tired tonight. It's not nice to mess with me that way. This is in Spanish. It says, or maybe it's not Spanish. Porcelana Schmidt made in Brazil. So it's Brazilian, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'm not going to try to read it. I, don't, I just don't think that would go well. Especially with my tired brain. All right, moving right along. Moving right along. That's it. We have looked at all of the plates and there was not much. So I actually was going to come back and pick up that uh, punch bowl set too. That one was tugging at my heartstrings, but then I'm thinking that was that at this store or was that at a different store? Because now, no, I think it was this store. I lose track sometimes, honestly, guys. I really do. I go to so many different stores, and unless it's like this store right here, which is like my home base store, I, I lose track. I think it was here. Pretty sure it was here. Um, so we'll see. If it's still here, we're going to grab that too. Because that one was really, I was kicking myself for not rescuing it. I really was. Carrie was laughing at me because I have like three punch bowls in my garage right now. Uh, because I just can't stand it. <laughs> I mean, I just can't stand for them not to be loved and appreciated. Look at these wild little guys here. They came from Home Goods. Two ninety nine each. We will leave those. Oh, we got some skull glasses. Still have some of those vintage ones that we tried to sell at a, a Halloween live sale, but then that person never paid, and they disappeared. It happens. It happens everywhere. Oh. You're very cute. Oh, that's a bummer. Somebody else was trying to peel the label and see who done it on this one. It was, oh, it's a Teleflora. Such a shame. That was a cute mug. Even though that's a Teleflora, I just might've picked that one up. Ooh, that's glass and it's got wolves on it. Kind of like that. Did you guys see that? Such a pretty mug for 99 cents. I'm gonna grab it. See if there's any other irresistible mugs tonight. Nothing's really calling out to me. What are you? The collector? Storage Wars. Oh, Storage Wars. Ooh, don't get me started there. So in my earlier days of eBay, I used to purchase storage lockers. This was before Storage Wars came out, and it was an extremely lucrative business. Um, and then, oh my gosh, <laughs> and then I found a crab. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Uh, you are amazing, little guy. It's a wine holder. You would hold your wine. Uh, let's look at you over. Look at you over, look you over. Goodness, see my brain, $7.99. I don't totally dig your price, but there is no way I'm leaving you behind. Okay, back to the story. <laughs> I got distracted by a crab. Uh, yeah, so um, once the market got a lot more competitive, I wrote a book. I do, I have a book out there about buying storage lockers for fun and profit. And um, I definitely want to get back to buying storage lockers again now that the market has calmed down a little. People have realized how much work it is and it's not just everything falling in your lap. 
because I think that was the way the show made things look, you know, how easy it was, not realizing that that show was heavily produced and set up. Yamaka Stoneware, Crestone, Crestone, Japan. Those are really mid-century, and there are six of them. So this is one of those exceptions. I will pick up small plates, especially if it's like a set. I don't know how much they are because there's no price, but this store always prices things fairly for me. Oh, let's see. There's some more of these like glass mosaic. And I know you guys always get mad when I leave these behind, but honestly, they're so big to deal with. Yep, it's made in Indonesia. I would have to sell these locally and I just don't see the market for me. So I am going to leave those and check out these cool jars. I really like those for some reason, but I don't need any jars myself and I don't think they have a huge resale value. Unlike these awesome stone African animal coasters for $5.99, those we do have a market for and we'll be grabbing. All right, and what are these bowls? Alhambra. Really beautiful. $7 for the two. I'm going to leave them. They don't really match either, which is another reason I'm going to leave them. Little ginger jar. Let's see what we got over here. These look interesting. Set one lid aside. They're heavy actually like really heavy just heavy white metal canisters $5.99 and $5.99 for the smaller one too hmm very interesting Let's see what you are it's uh Mor Moriah Mora pottery $3.99 it doesn't excite me, it does not, especially once I have a full card already. I tend to not get as excited about things unless they're more exciting than the things I already put in the cart, if that makes sense. I get a little pickier. All right, let's see. Go through the cooking stuff. See if we can find any goodies for Noah tonight. Don't see anything we can't live without. Hmm. All right. Well, that's somewhat interesting. What makes you? And is that even really the lid for? I don't know that that's. No, 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 no. That's a marriage, right? That's a marriage because those don't even line up. It's somebody being clever, but that doesn't really go together. All right. We're hitting the mishy mashy. Oh, canvas. I keep saying I'm not going to pick her up any more canvas, and then I find more canvas, and it's really, really hard to leave behind. But I'm going to leave that behind. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. No, honestly, the girl has plenty of canvas to work with. So I really do need to leave behind anything that's not super special. I think that is a humidifier, if I am not mistaken. That is a Pampered Chef Trifle Trifle Bowl. Hmm. It's a little bit interesting, but not super interesting. Not interesting enough to open up and figure out what it is. Oh, chili peppers. I do like me some green chili peppers. They're not, they're not old and they're not super good quality, so. I'm gonna leave those. Let's see what else we got over here in the bathroom stuff. Nothing that looks terribly exciting. All right. This is kind of their craft section. Cricket things. I never could, did quite understand these. I'm, I'm sure there's some money here, but I don't understand it enough to spend anything on it. Now, modeling clay, on the other hand, that is right up my little girl's alley, along with some oil pastels and paintbrushes, all for 
That I will grab. Oh, okay, let's see. Every once in a while, there can be a really good vintage gem mixed in here. So I look at every single section of the store because you just, you just never know where something's getting stashed, hoping that you won't find it, but not tonight. And a little bit more of the mishy mashy stuff here. Oh, for everyone who was uh, commenting about us using uh, wrapping paper for the bird liner. So we only use it in a pinch. And um, you're right though, it does have dyes. So we need to be more careful, but I did just buy a huge roll of actual bird cage liner. So rest assured they are set for quite some time. Tabletop cornhole. Now that looks fun. I will play that with my kids. We will play that for sure. I just had to stop and, and show the cuteness of this little bike set up here. This is like a little tiny kid's bike and it's got a little, a little uh, baby seat on the back for a doll. That is just so stinking cute. I can't stand it. All right, we are taking a peek through the lamps. Not seeing anything too exciting tonight. Oh, any lamp shades we can't live without? Actually, let me look at these warmers real quick. Oh, that one is a Scentsy. It's kind of plain though. I like the ones that are more figural and that one's a Scentsy too and have just a little bit something extra going on. Let's see. What are you? Not sure. All right. Hmm. Nothing else here. All right, we're gonna come over here to the art and we are going to give one last bit of hope that that winged art got maybe moved over here, but I am not seeing it. So I think we missed out. I mean, it happens sometimes. You know what they say, you snooze, you lose. And I hope somebody got it and will make a fortune on it. It's an interesting, just really modern piece, but interesting. Jellyfish. Oh, I'm not gonna dig too hard because I have plenty of art to deal with right now. I'm just really looking for anything that's kind of a standout that calls me to look at it. There is a piece that I have to find a frame for, for Noah, but I think we're going to go to Hobby Lobby tomorrow and go and find that. We'll go when he gets off work because believe it or not, Noah will want to go to Hobby Lobby with us. He's that kind of kid. Just have to uh, kind of stand back and look at this huge piece of poured art, that acrylic pour art. That's a huge piece. That, that's really cool. Got to give it to someone on that one. This Goodwill gets such good furniture in. It's just always amazing to me how much really great furniture comes in here. Look at this nice little bookshelf for 15 bucks. It's all wood. You got dressers and dressers like you know, if you like had projects to do, some repurposing projects, this store would have some great, great pieces at prices that you could easily flip and make the money. I mean, look at that desk. Somebody's already bought that, the receipts on it, but look at that desk. It's great. Yeah. Love this Goodwill. Okay, let's see if we can find us another, you know, $250 comforter set mixed in over here. These, you can tell, have been taken out of the package and stuffed back in versus like when they're still new like this. Now this one is a Martha Stewart Essentials, so I am sure that is not as good as a Waterford. <sighs> but always look for those like brand new in the package. And again, the outdoor pillows. It is the season for outdoor pillows. That one's really, I don't know. I. I gotta choose which ones are gonna go on my own outdoor furniture now because I'm really liking this. For how much are you? 
$3.99? I think I have to have that one. It's really pretty. Okay, let's see. Uh-oh, I see another one. Oh, I see some. These all go with it. Oh, these are the same. These are the same. Look at that. Oh my goodness, I love these. They're all $3.99 each. Let me just show you how these all have the beautiful tree flower blossoms. Oh, those are fantastic. I'm getting those. And then I turned around and I saw this. I already sold my other uh, raffia one. Look at this has the cowrie shell uh, napkin holders. It's got coasters. It's got napkins. It's got placemats. It's all only $5.99. So we will grab that. Now I'm coming back and making sure I didn't miss anything over here. Ooh, what are you? It's five o'clock somewhere. Well, this is true. Big old parrot wall hanging. He's nice too. Where would you put him? He's he's like like an outdoor little flaggy guy. Would be oh sorry. <laughs> He'd be great in somebody's like tiki bar. He's $4.99. I think we're gonna pick him up too. Let's see if there's anything else tucked in here that's cool and unusual and worth picking up. That's a neat table runner. That's newer. Hmm. The shorts, they're still here. Probably because they don't belong here. You know, I think if I put them over here on the end, one of the workers will find them and put them in the right spot so that they can sell. All right, nothing else here. All right, we are gonna look through the blankets, but you can see the blanket section now filling up now that we are warming up here in Vegas. We are into our upward trend of being in the 70s in the daytime, and we're still getting down to the 50s, high upper 40s at night, but that's soon gonna change. Pretty soon we'll be warm as can be again. Well, I think that's going to do it for us tonight, which means I have room. Oh, stand by. Hold that thought. We've got some leather half chaps, Dublin leather half chaps. I don't know if these are for horseback riding or for motorcycle riding. I think they're motorcycle riding, yeah. And they are pretty dirty, but hmm, it wasn't interesting. Thing down on the end there. Anyway, back to what I was saying. Uh, I have room to put some bonus footage on the end here of our morning critter routine and an update on all of the animals. So if you like that kind of stuff, stay tuned after the recap. And after I talk a little bit, I will come back and, and show you all that. Show you how everybody's doing and what's happening in the Ackerman Menagerie. All right, let's go get checked out and get out of here.
was a little bit of a bummer. I was really hoping those two things would still be there. Hey, you know, you snooze, you lose. And yes, I could have, I did actually look up the punch bowl and I was torn, I was torn, torn, torn on the punch bowl. Um, so it's actually a good thing it wasn't still there because I really didn't need that punch bowl. I was just saving it, rescuing it, if you will. Uh, and then the, the wing art was so super cool. I mean, I loved it when I saw it and I was trying to come up with a place in my house where I could put it. And I just couldn't come up with one. I wasn't thinking that it really had the resale value, but that is why I do start looking everything up when I'm editing the videos. I learn new things. I learn, wow, okay, that was worth about $200. So who knew? Apparently somebody who bought it or somebody just bought it because it was super cool. Who knows? Anyway, it's all good. I got plenty of cool stuff. And see, now I'm gonna be torn on those pillows. Keep or sell? Keep or sell? Do I keep them? Do I sell them? They do kind of bring me joy. Uh, for those wondering, I think I started to say this in the store, and I I do that. My brain squirrels sometimes. Uh, I often get asked, you know, aren't you afraid of buying, like, pillows and blankets and things that can get, you know, bed bugs and things in them? No, I'm not. Uh, reason being is, number one, Goodwill does disinfect everything. Um, they have a process that they go through before it ever comes on the floor. So there is that. I also put everything through a dryer cycle, everything soft like that, so that it gets heated up and anything on there. Also, it stays out, out of the house long enough that if there was any critters on it, it would not have anything to eat for quite some time and it would die off. So all good. I am not afraid. Um, anything that's washable that I'm going to use for myself, I absolutely wash it. Like those pillow covers will come off and can go through the wash. So if I keep them, I'll definitely do that. I'll definitely do that. All right. With that, I'm headed home. Stay tuned for a little uh, extra cuteness at the end here. You get to see all of the critters and their morning routine. And uh, with that, go be profitable and make it fun. We'll see you on the next one. It is morning here at the Ackerman residence slash menagerie slash zoo. <laughs> so a lot of people have been asking me for an update on all the critters. So here we go. I'm taking you along on the morning routine. All right. The first thing we need to do is turn on some sunshine for Hope. She has this, uh, it's a, it's the good UV rays that tortoises need so that they can process things. She's a, <laughs> this is her fancy little, oh, there she is, over in the corner. She'll come out when she gets warmed up, but okay. Sorry, Hope, we will put you back under there. So we don't, she doesn't get any food until she's up and moving and warm and looking for food. Then we've got the bouge. We got the bougie. Bougie's sitting here waiting for uh, his morning treat. Yes, you are. That's going to be really, really loud. Okay, so let's uh, get you a piece of papaya. Would you like papaya this morning? Yeah. Yeah. Have a little bite of papaya. Are you a good bird? You are. Yeah. 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 There you go. All right, we're working on it. Okay, off to the rest of the birds. Okay, hello, good morning. My cute little fuzzy creatures. Hello, how are you girls? Man, you can mess up a cage so fast. So fast you do. Hello, hello. Here we go. Okay, Rachel's gonna get you fixed up. Gonna get some new hay. Oh, here it comes. Hi, your mama. Oh, they get their pellets. And then they also get, hey, today they're going to get a little extra treat, too. So I have. Parsley. 
They love parsley. What you got there, Noah? Kafifi. Kafifi? <laughs> yes, we have to feed all the animals this morning. What you doing over there? Getting hay. Ooh, getting their hay. So now they get a log full of hay that they pick throughout the day, too. All right, let's close those lids so nobody can jump out. And let's go over to the other girls. Hello, girls. Hello. She's like, what you got? This is Mocha. Where's little Smorzy? Where's little Smorzy over here? She's, she's a sweet girl, but she's a shy girl. Hi, S'mores. Hi, Mama. Oh, yep, yeah, go hide. Go hide. It's okay. And they're all stocked up. We gotta get another one of those logs. Yeah. The log's a good idea. Oh. They chatter with each other. It's a little it's a little show of dominance and who gets to eat first. But see, they don't want to come over here because I've got the camera in their doorway. <laughs> Let's see. Will the food drive hold out? Here it goes. Oh yes, go for the food, Mama, go for the food. You got this, you got this. All right, here's the little, the little aviary. Hello, Scoop. Hello, Mango. Then we've got JJ and Sky. And there's Gordo, who now lives in here with Rachel and all his other birdie friends. And Marley and Chicky. Sorry, it's hard to film between the uh, bars of a cage. There's Chicky. Okay, time to gather up all the dishes. All right, here are, the, I don't even know who's who in here. I know the yellow one is Sprite. And then we got Wren and Stumpy. And Big Daddy. Big and Bubba. Big, she calls him Big Bubba. And uh, that's all I know. Let's see if we can get through the bars a little bit. Barry is go. the little piebald. Oh, Barry's the little piebald? Okay. Yeah. Because she's Barry Pie. These are our rescues. They're in, a, they're in a really big cage, but we're gathering up their seed. But I'll just step back a little bit, and you can see the size of their cage. It's like a little aviary here in our living room. So, we'll get those guys fixed up now, too. All right, first we have to wash everybody's bowls out with super hot water. Super hot with our special little scrubbity dubbity. This is our, this is a morning routine every single morning. Okay, it's time to feed these little cutie patooties. Hi, guys. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> They're so cute. All right, first in, got a little vegetarian food there. No, that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. So we put the vegetarian food in there first because we've only got really the, this little fox face here is the big vegetarian. And everybody else is kind of carnivorous. And we'll get brine shrimp, which is going in next. Here it goes. Oh, they love some brine shrimp. Oh, yeah. Some very, very, very happy oh, fishies Charlie. this morning. Charlie's back there. Oh, got the little firefish are coming out to eat. Our little, oh, little anemones are like puffing back out so they can catch some more food. We got some coral growing. That's an anemone. That's a that's a royal gamma. These are feather dusters. We got hermit crabs galore. Piggies. We got some corals. They're piggies. We have a very very happy little community now. So now the job <laughs> to fill all the bowls. We feed something called Chop. We get this at our little local bird store called Priscilla's Pantry. So if you're local to Las Vegas, 
great little bird store to get your fresh supplies. Uh, we get this frozen and it's just a whole assortment of fruits and veggies all chopped up for the birdies to eat. Getting their little water back in there. They're like, is that food? No, you tricked us. This is Rachel's new favorite little thing to do. Ice dumping. And it only takes one to get it going. See, they're a little squeamish because I'm over here with the camera. So they're like, yeah, I don't know, but I really want that food. There we go. I really, really want that food. This bite. And pretty soon they'll all be in there. Getting their little morning handout. And of course, we can't forget this one. If I say her name, she's gonna stop eating. So, they actually can eat anytime they want. We fill that up with food and they have their little fountain over here. They're a little bit spoiled. <laughs> what do you think, Peanut? You having a good breakfast? Yeah, it's a good breakfast? Clean it all up, you made a mess. What, he's, he's squabbling while he's on the perch. He's so funny. And then they get their little bowl of chop. Oh, I scared them. Here you go, guys. Eat up. Have a good breakfast. Come and get it. Okay. First, the naughty little scoop. He is the naughty little scoop. Oh. He, he attacks her. <laughs> he likes he likes this chop. Here, sorry. Let him see him without the. Cause he ain't coming over here now. He's like, oh, I got my food this morning. And then we got Mango. Oh, hi, Mango. Mango's a little shy still. I know it's a big scary camera, but I'm trying to get a good picture of you through the bars. There you are. What a pretty bird you are. Hi, Mango. Good morning. These guys usually go to town right away. They like their food. Here you go, boys. You guys hiding up here in the corner. Come and eat. Come and get it. Come and get it. I think somebody wants their food bowl. I'm pretty sure he's saying, Get my food in here, little girl. <laughs> They're okay. a little on the skittish side still. These are our newest arrivals, so we have just moved them up here into Rachel's room. So we haven't even cleaned the cage this week because we're just letting them settle in. But they do like their food. See how close he'll let me get. All good. And then it's little Gordo's turn. We have to go very slow with Gordo. Gordo's very, very sensitive. Hi, Gordo. Hi, you pretty bird. All right. We'll leave you to go eat now. Here's one happy customer. More happy customers. And more happy customers. All right, breakfast is served. 
How's that breakfast scoop? You're making quite the spectacle of yourself. <laughs> Look at that beak. Look at you. You're just a mess. Go get some more. <laughs> I think you're liking it. I do. I think you're liking it, Scoop. What do you, what have you got there? I have Ozzy. You got coffee and a dog. Oh, are you spoiled or what? <laughs> okay, enjoy. Hello, are you ready to start the day? Yes? Yeah? Yeah, let's start this day, right? Hello. Hello. Who's a, who's a good bougie bird? You're a good bougie bird. Hello. Yeah. Today is a major treat day for one little tortoise. Lettuce isn't the greatest nutrient, but she loves it so much. So when we get down to these little crunchy ends, I do give them to her and uh, you can see how much she loves them. So much. <laughs>